Today, we're gonna make some of the most overpowered, insane Gigas I've ever created. And of course, we're gonna be using the R Gigas that can be found here on Genesis Park 2. Just like with the Mosas, you're gonna see me going from taming these things to breeding them and then seeing the final creation. And oh my God, it's gonna be absolutely amazing. I can already just picture it. My plan with these Gigas is to eventually have Gigas capable of just absolutely demolishing Titans, like the King Titan and all of his minions. So go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. And of course, let's check out the stats on this one. Uh, no, not very good. Very, very average, actually. Uh, 43 points into stamina is not the worst, but it's not going to make a huge difference on the Giga. 41 points into melee, not, not great. We could get a whole lot better than this, but it's a good start. So I've taken a little break from the Giga hunt to come back over here to Val because obviously, you know, I've killed all the Gigas over there. We're going to have to wait for some more to spawn. Uh, let's go ahead and eat real quick. And uh, let's go ahead and craft some of these saddles. So this is my best Giga saddle blueprint. It's 101 armor, which is really good. It's not as amazing as some of the other saddles I have. Honestly, I, I have some crazy ass saddles for creatures that I probably won't even want to use, but let's go ahead and craft 10 of these if we can. Let's pop a crafting skill potion before we do that. It's a nice little mod. You can check it out on my mod list, episode one. And let's go ahead and do this. And I'm just gonna type in Giga so we can just see them all together here. Oh, I can see some good ones so far. Okay, let me kind of just readjust here. This, 61%. Wow, okay. I think that's the best one, right? So we got 38 on that, 54. Wow, okay, we got some really good ones here. 19, uh, 61, that's the really amazing one. 55, basically. 18, oh my god, we got so many good ones. Wow, okay, I mean, like, this one and this one aren't, are like, the worst ones, but they're still not even bad holy crap i mean this one's kind of in line with these guys that's kind of insane uh this is a really good saddle though uh 147 that is honestly amazing actually um yeah these are really expensive though i don't want to try and craft any more of those like even just getting hide right now like all the other materials i could easily get i have gotcha farms i can easily get all those things but the hide is like that one thing i need to actually constantly grind and i need to make a hide farm probably with some office or something we'll do that at some stage soon i wasn't joking about my saddle blueprints by the way like we have some really good ones in here like some of them are kind of insane like look at this tape jar saddle like 143 like what <laughs> ridiculous we got a really good stego one as well i'm sure people on pvp would kill for that like 143 as well 139 on the spino one here we have a really amazing megatherium one 180 that's just ridiculous uh what is this one megalosaurus wow we don't have a good megalosaurus one at all look at all these other amazing ones and then you can just see the occasional ramshackle and stuff that's not a rack saddle by the way that's an acro saddle uh but yeah so if you want you can just pause and take a little look at all my blueprints but we've got some really good ones here look at this rack saddle too now obviously you can find even better ones out there i'm just showing you my ones but yeah that's what we're working with okay so it's been a few days before i've even managed to find a high level giga but we've got a 180 giga knocked out right here and i'm very hopeful about this one because look at that melee 295 in the wild is very very good it's gonna actually drop down but the points into the stat is what really matters and currently as a wild stat that's considered to be very high so i'm expecting 50 points is what i would love around 50 no less would be great but we'll see are you gonna eat you should eat any second now. It should literally tame up when it registers that it can eat the next piece of food. Oh, uh, okay, here we go. All right, you better you better have some freaking good stats, I swear. Let's pick you up and... 52! Oh, yes! Ah, oh, that is that's beautiful. Okay, that's it. That's my, that's my uh, melee stat. <laughs> oh, you know what? I should probably pick up my narcotic here. That's awesome! I am so happy about that. 52 freaking points, man! Ah, oh, all right. Now I, I gotta try and find a half-decent health and a half-decent stamina. Ah, uh, that's probably not gonna really happen. To be honest, like, even with a really good health and a really good stam, like, it's not really gonna make a huge difference in terms of the actual stat, but I will try to at least go for a high-ish health. You see, you'll never really find a Giga with a whole lot more than 400 stamina. It's just not really gonna be a thing. So, I don't know. I'll try and get a better health, though. Um, also, I think the only two Archigas that we've tamed have been females, I'm fairly certain. So, we're definitely gonna need a male at minimum. So, I gotta start looking. Jumping forward, I've just combined all the best stats from all the Gigas that I tamed. And here's the funny thing. I wasn't even recording because I didn't even think it was important. But I managed to just knock out another high-level male Giga. 
and I was just gonna tame it up and just see how it is. It turns out that one had 52 points into the health, and now we have 52 on the health and melee. Uh, the best we have in stamina is 43, but honestly, there is no major difference between, like, a 29 point and a 43 it's literally like 0.3 percent or something like that so it, it's nothing so anyway yeah these are all the best sets that we have and we're beginning the breeding process which everybody knows is gonna take a long ass time so i'll see you guys probably in like a week or two with the update all right so we're actually really close to the end here i've already stopped the stacking of the mutations and we'll get to that soon but right now i just have to decide on some cool colors and um Right here, all of these ones here have region zero mutated. So we're just trying to decide on like the main color because that's like the main region. And there's so many really nice colors here. Uh, I really like this one here. I think that's that glacial blue that I always just seem to want to use whenever I get it. It just looks so good. Uh, I also like this. I think that might be like a lavender color. It, it's kind of hard to tell because uh, like the... the the main body region of this kind of mixes with the underbelly slightly, so it kind of uh, creates a different color sometimes underneath. I've definitely noticed that. Um, but yeah, anyway, just trying to decide on something here. These gigas come in crazy colors out in the wild anyway, so like a lot of the colors that you see here, you could probably already get out in the wild. Um, so yeah, we're just trying to figure out what we're going to be using. This is always the the worst part because it's just there's so many amazing colors and I got to make a really cool looking giga by the end of it, so... Yeah, this is the process. So we're on the other side of all the mutating, and this video's taken like three weeks to make, but here we go. We have some amazing gigas. So first of all, let's just look at the original stats that we had. So these are the wild stats right here, unimprinted, of course. So we had 16,600 on the health, and the melee was 280. Jumping up to a mutated version, but not imprinted, we have 24 health mutations, and I brought that up to exactly 100 uh, points, and then I kind of just stopped around there. You don't get a huge amount per, like, mutation to the health, so I was like, yeah, we'll kind of stop here. That's fine. But anyway, um, for the melee, I brought it up to 37, and I know that's a weird number. I did want to try and get to 40, but honestly, I just kind of want to get this video out. I can continue to mutate and stack up more mutations into that melee, and I probably will, but, I, you know, I, I kind of also want to try and get the video out, because, like, I've wanted to put this out for a long time, but, like, it's just it's taken so long to do this, and I didn't want to wimp out and stop at around 20. So, anyway, 24 onto the health, uh, 37 into the melee. The melee went up to 650. It's funny, the melee goes up by exactly 10 per mutation as well, which is super weird, but, um... Then jumping up to an imprinted version, so we're going from 18,500-ish uh, health, 650 melee, up to 34, basically 35,000, and then basically 800 on the melee. Um, it's strange how Gigas get such a boost into the health when you imprint. It's really weird. Like, I don't have any extra settings on top that would make that even more. It's just, that's just the way they are, and it's, it's very strange. I think normal creatures only really get, like, an extra 20% onto that. It's, it's very strange. Anyway... Uh, I don't know why Gigas get a massive boost. Um, here are the colors. As you can see, I did use that glacial color and the rest you can see right there. And here it is. Look at this beauty. Let me just get you into the light a little bit. There we go. Look at that. So, yeah. Um, I went with some reds just because red and blue goes really well together. Uh, the underbelly, I did have some really nice colors that I wanted to try and go for. But when I combined them with the blue, it just looked really weird. So, I decided to just go for another red under there, almost like a salmon -y kind of red, I suppose, which is more pink, I guess. Whatever, it's fine. Um, on the back, the spots and the stripes and everything are a red, and then the outline around them is black, which I thought looked pretty cool, actually. There was some other nice colors that I got, but I thought the black kind of, like, made that massive border between, like, the red and, and the blue, and it just looked really good. It made the red stand out a little bit more. So, anyway... Let me, uh, let me go ahead and hit something. I'm very excited for this. Okay. 4,300 damage. What are we doing to you? Same. Okay, so that wasn't mate boost or anything. That is some awesome damage. It's kind of crazy how Shadow Mains can do that much and, and way more with less mutations. It really is. Uh, Shadow Mains are essentially like mini gigas, to be honest. But, um, anyway, yeah. Let's go hit some more things. So that is some incredible damage. Obviously, you know, we could go even higher with this. And I probably will. I will definitely end up trying to stack up some more mutations. Because, um, you know, pretty soon we, we got some King Titans to slay at some stage. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to get to that. Um, also, a bunch of hunt missions that I'll probably want to end up trying to do as well. So lots of stuff to do with the Gigas. And that's why I'm so excited to finally have just an incredible 
crazy giga mutation stack right here and um yeah like i said we, we will go further with it at some stage interrupting this video for a quick little shout out to one of my partners here on this channel apex gaming pcs they're an awesome pc company and we basically put together some arc capable pcs if you're looking for a pre-built definitely would recommend them there's always a discount link down below oh i do want to mention that i was contemplating also doing some mutations into the stamina but stamina mutations only give 0.4 per level and they don't get any boost from imprinting so it really wasn't worth it at all so yeah that's kind of why i didn't bother trying to do that like if i got 100 mutations stacked onto it you know we'd only get an extra 40 stamina and is that really worth it i don't think so so yeah um let's go ahead and just hatch a bunch of these then and we can just eat them all up with the giga gotta get out of them before they trap me and we are ready oh my god there we go okay by the way that's the uh mate boosted damage right there base mate, mate boosted damage that is pretty awesome actually okay wait did we eat them all there's still some corpses wait and then there's a couple of babies that are like stuck inside the nest that's fine as you can see 59 levels right now we are rolling in it now what are we gonna pump only melee there's no point of pumping anything into health i could pump a level in just to show you but honestly it's not even going to give anything it wouldn't even bring it to 800 i don't think so we're gonna only be pumping melee we could also pump stamina again you don't really get anything for it so here we go let's just pump everything into the melee okay let me first of all see what our meat boosted damage is right now uh let's just drop out a couple more eggs and then can i move there we go all right let's see what are we doing how okay <laughs> we can we can get more levels into these things as well by the way there's like what is it like 87 is the amount of levels that you can get into creatures right now um that's awesome let me go ahead and check you out with uh without the mate boost so let's run out here with you and maybe kill some of these kangaroos or something so obviously these guys are going to be like absolute like titan killers you know i'm i think after this we need to possibly go over to extinction and just farm the crap out of the ice titan and the forest titan so we're doing 6500 damage right now against just normal creatures that aren't mate boosted themselves and i'm not mate boosted so yeah this is some ridiculous damage and again we can get more levels like we've already got one extra already on top of that yeah that is uh that is awesome these arc gigas look so good by the way they really do i'm so glad that they did this because like it just looks so much better than the regular one i love the patterns on it like these variant creatures were always such a great idea um i remember back in the day when they first showed off the ones on aberration because that was the very first time they ever did this the aberrant creatures i remember thinking like eh, that kind of just seems like a weird way to try and add more content you know instead of trying to add more creatures they they go ahead and just add a bunch of variants of normal creatures but then they grew on me and i gotta say the x creatures on top of that and then you know we have the r creatures now as well they look really cool i wish they would go back to scorched and do some like scorched variants i imagine like a mammoth that doesn't have any fur basically an elephant that would be awesome but i don't know if they're ever gonna want to do anything like that you know what i can tell you for sure that they'll never do that never mind um anyway yeah that is some awesome damage we gotta go over and fight that brood mother let me see let me i don't actually have any flyers on me let me go grab some creatures and then we'll go over and fight that brood mother i guess i should also clean this up oh and by the way they start out at 420 that was not intentional oh and i should probably mention uh this version right here because of when i was getting all the colors and combining them it actually also has a weight mutation which isn't really that important but i guess it's kind of cool all right here we are over at the broodmother area on val uh is there a brood mommy down there i actually don't see one. Oh, there it is oh there's two amazing why is there always two nowadays like it's so weird uh here i'll just show the coordinates because people always ask uh 74 42 ish and you'll see all the spider webs don't worry all right let's see let's uh check out this giga and take a little look so bear in mind it's gonna show some extra damage that that's just because these things have like a weird um like lesser resistance or whatever oh my god <laughs> dude 20k to them that's ridiculous okay and oh man all right i don't even like i don't even know what level these things are actually <laughs> one thing come on let me kill you all right we're not taking a huge amount of damage from them to be honest like we, we've got a really good saddle like I, I think we'll be fine oh my god one of them's already almost dead i don't even know what level again like it could be in a super low level sometimes i get stuck with like 180s almost on these guys and it kind of messes me up a little bit okay 24 that wasn't bad the other one's probably i would say around level 90 ish i'm gonna call it 
at that. Um, yeah, so sometimes, like, I end up coming in here thinking I can kill it, and then it's like a 180, and they actually do some pretty decent damage if you don't have saddles or anything, like when we brought the Dimorphs in a couple weeks ago. Um, that was pretty crazy, because, like, they, they, they just completely almost all died against it. But, yeah, we should be fine here. Um, oh, my God, look at this. <laughs> 20,000 damage is what we're doing. That's so silly. It's going to die any second now. Watch this. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, now. Yes! 156. Okay, that was actually kind of a much higher level than I thought. I just kind of judged it on how much blood it had on it when we killed the other one, but I don't know. I think now what we need to do is I need to raise up a little army of them, and then we need to go over to Extinction and fight a bunch of Titans. So let me get working on that, and I'll see you guys in around two or so hours, because that's how long it takes to raise up a Giga. All right, here we go. So what did you need? Spino sails and what was it? There's Xenoclaws. Cool. Boom. Got that summoned in. Uh, next up, we gotta go ahead and pull out some Gigas. I'm probably not gonna ride on a Giga, and here's why. Uh, it's probably gonna make me rage, and then I'll just die, so there's really no point of doing that. Instead, what we'll probably do is just choke out a bunch of them and maybe, like, ride on the Shadow Mane or something. That would make more sense. Oh, get off my face. There we go. All right, uh, we got the Ice Titan in. Let's see about sending in my boys. Go on. All right, we're just going to ride on the Shadow Mane. It honestly makes more sense to not get raged out. Uh, this thing should go down pretty quick, though. To be honest, should I drop out more Gigas? I would say so. All right, let me see. Let's drop out maybe like two more of each gender. That's not a Giga. Uh, here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> get in there. Oh, yeah, this thing is going down quick. Oh, it's going to make it so much easier to farm this freaking boss. Look at that. All right, Ooh, let me get in here. He, has he hit at them yet? I don't think he has. I think he's like aiming for me. Now he's hitting at them. Okay, everybody's in, right? I think so. All right, get off of me. Okay, great. The Gigas are gonna try and come over and save me now. I can already tell. No, they don't care. Wow, okay. I see how it is. All right, let's keep them all on him. And, oh, that hurt. Okay, oh, he froze them solid. Okay. Well, he's almost dead. Like, look at that. That's so crazy. God. Just an army of Gigas could just take down these Titans in like a second. I'm really curious how they would fare against the King Titan. Because if I'm fighting the King Titan, if I'm even putting saddles on them, which I don't even see the point, because like it would just seem like a waste of materials. If I was to put saddles on them, I would only ever put like primitive saddles. There's no point of trying to craft like ascended saddles to put on Gigas that will probably get, you know, three or four shot by the King Titan anyway. So yeah. Um all right, we should probably try to slow them down towards the end here. I do want to hopefully try and grab this Dermis. Okay. Oh, did they just kill him? No, they ate him. Damn it. That's fine. All right, it's okay. I can grab a Dermis on another stage. We should have the loot at least. Uh, or maybe that's it right there. That's probably it. All right. God damn it. I didn't stop it in time. Uh, oh, nice. Just straight up tech armor. Usually, you, you. I think most times, like whenever I've done this, you usually just get straight up like blueprints, but yeah, tech armor by itself is great. I'll take that. Uh, we have skins on, right? Uh, yeah, I could actually probably go ahead and pop that on because this is a skin on top of just normal like regular tech armor. So yeah, I love how they still haven't fixed this. You notice anything? Where's all the text? It doesn't explain how, what this does. And it's it's on two of the pieces out of five. Like, <laughs> it's so silly. All right. Oh, crap. We can't do it like that. We got to do it like this. Boom. All right, um, yeah, in terms of loot, nothing super, super amazing. I mean, the tech armor is pretty good. Uh, the rest of the stuff is, is okay. I will probably just hang on to it, maybe grind it up at some point. But, um, yeah, we got some nice cannon shells, which is going to be great. We actually should probably start working on mechs pretty soon. Um, I have actually been doing quite a few orbital supply drops since um, that episode we did a couple weeks back. And I have some stuff to show you. I got a really, really good blueprint, and I posted it on Twitter a little while ago um but yeah we'll probably try and craft that up pretty soon if we can um all right well anyway uh forest titan next let's head on over there let me get a flyer oh so one thing that i feel like i'm probably gonna get comments about now that we have crazy gigas is why not take them in to try and fight a savage acro which for anybody who isn't familiar it's a it's it's a boss from a mod that we have on here the arc additions mod has like a mini boss in it um 
the, apparently, I, I don't exactly know what the nerf is, but apparently Gigas and Shadow Mains don't work on that thing. I think we tried the Shadow Mains, and I think we were doing like a tenth of the damage, so using Gigas on that would not work. I just feel like I'm probably going to get comments about that, so I feel like I should probably get ahead of those. Um, but in terms of everything else, like what can we do with these things, I'll totally probably start, you know, going for some of those, um, those alpha uh, hunt missions over on Genesis 1 and 2, actually, because we got genesis part two on here as well now we'll probably try and do those at some stage soon uh maybe just try and like whack through a crap ton of them and just see what we can kind of do um maybe get some loot crates to be honest those loot crates are really good so i'd love to start farming the crap out of those at some stage i don't know let me know what is the easiest hunt mission like out there like what is the easiest one to do that we can get just tons and tons of points from uh because i feel like the hunt missions would probably be the last time consuming missions that we could potentially do so i don't know makes more sense to do that instead of something else uh let's see we gotta probably stop around here where exactly does the forest titan spawn in again i always get really confused about this i think yeah I, it's just as soon as it spawns in all the trees end up breaking and then you know there's this giant creature i think we spawn in like right around here because i remember this cliff back here so i want to put a bed here I really do um we need a bed in this area just so we have it um we can't place one right here god damn it <laughs> let me try and find a spot that we can place one in all right uh i have no idea where we can build probably over here come on give me a spot i don't need a foundation for this come on give me some little area that we can place this in oh and actually one more thing um at some stage soon we will probably try to fight that king titan and i'll probably also want to try and tame up all three titans for that fight as well so just a heads up because i get a lot of people asking me to tame up the titans i wouldn't really see the point of just taming them and just having them because i'm pretty sure they starve and i know there's like settings that you can change but from what i've heard they don't really work properly so um yeah i don't i don't really know whether or not i just want to have the titans teamed up and just you know try to keep them alive or whatever um if we're taming them we gotta tame them for something big and i feel like a king titan fight would definitely be the ideal thing to do let's not waste the element let's just use night owl to get over to that little spot okay we just gotta clear out this little area here and then we'll be good to go are you still on aggressive yes you are sweet i could probably try and mount him as well um uh, boom sweet oh yeah look at that damage absolutely tears through everything to be honest i probably could have just ran through this cave <laughs> but i just decided not to um oh my mouse is on the screen somehow love that probably also be keeping these things nice all right actually this cave right here is really good to come into to farm up the apex drops if you ever need like a crap ton of their xeno claws and stuff oh wait, seriously get off what the hell oh if you're wondering why i said admin that's because these soul ball things um yeah it's a great place to come and, and just harvest the crap out of all those things obviously you can't bring those through maps normally like i've got the stack mod so i can but yeah it's great if you need those things all right let's see how quickly we can kill this thing uh shadow main onto the bar and i have the majority of the gig is out i just couldn't fit any more out here i did not heal them but they did heal up slightly inside their little soul balls but then again, they didn't really take that much damage before, so we're good. All right, here we go. There's the forest titan. Let's get everybody on follow. Coming? Sweet. <laughs> oh, this is crazy looking. All right, everybody in. Just start killing that giant tree. Uh, you too. I think you were out of range for the whistle, maybe. Just gonna do this so I can try and avoid his little root attack. Uh, he's probably still gonna hit me with it though, right? maybe no oh i think we're out of range sweet okay <laughs> he's just coming for me he does not care about the gigas he only cares about players all right you know what we can probably try and drop out a couple more oh he's trying to what's he trying to do oh i thought he was trying to grab me there for a second um let's drop out some more gigas um um let's get you boys in eh, there we go what do i have in my hand right now i'm not even sure uh Put her away and take it back out. Okay, we can't hit Q for that. That's cool. All right, let's do this. How quick is he dying? Oh my god, he's almost dead already. <laughs> I love this. There we go. You can't use bleed or anything against these dudes, but if you just have the raw damage, they are dead so quick. That's incredible. 
can't wait to tame this one this one's so fun love taming i love taming the titans <laughs> definitely the ice titan you guys remember the time when i tamed that it came out as an alpha but that was the most stressful thing i've ever done in arc it was so bad all right here we go we're not gonna bother trying to get the dermis i already have a bunch of this one all right sweet that was that was quick let's go ahead and put all you guys away and oh okay they're all running at me let's see where's the baggie does somebody have the bag or is it here on the ground somewhere it's probably this maybe no but we should check it oh my god that's so much meat I'm gonna grab the hide uh no that's uh you ate the body let's see what's this one from uh nope uh here we go okay cool um let's just grab it all hop back onto dagger here so yeah some pretty good loot there as well nothing super super amazing um from what i understand making the better versions of these is kind of pointless because it doesn't actually do any extra damage i think that uh is that's that's correct right correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure making the better versions of these blueprints is the most pointless thing ever i think this is the only one that you should really try to like crafting skill or whatever um and then with these, you might as well just make the basic one. Unless they've changed things, or maybe I was just mistaken, then pretty sure that's how that works. Um, all right, well, anyway, that was really easy. Like, honestly, like, I'd love to fight them again. I could fight them, like, ten times over, but I'm pretty sure there's, like, an hour between uh, uses or whatever, so that kind of sucks. But, I mean, like, holy crap, we just destroyed them. I could probably keep a little squad of gigas over here. Actually, that would make a lot of sense. Yeah, keep like a little pack of gigas just chilling here. I can't leave them out though because they'll starve. All right, never mind. We'll probably make like a little base here and just, you know, have an easy way to just farm the crap out of these dudes and um, and just try to like get all of these little trophies because I'm pretty sure for the King Titan, we're going to need uh, one of each of these for Alpha, Beta, and uh, Gamma as well. So yeah we're gonna need lots and lots of them and then just a bunch for decoration as well because they are so cool looking all right well anyway let's uh let's head back to val all right so instead of going back to val i want to head into the forbidden zone which is just terrifying there's a lot of big scary things that will spawn in here like fire wyverns of course and then gigas everywhere so yeah we should definitely come in here it's a fun place to come but i kind of just wish that there was more to do in here like if there was something to get you or something like that i don't know uh i do like this area though it is really really difficult to survive when when you get really deep in there's like so many creatures everywhere i mean look at that what is that like two gigas just spawn together cool i mean like i don't think they do the bleed though right pretty sure corrupted gigas don't do the bleed but still still pretty scary all right let's uh let's get in here and try and fight some of these dudes oh wow one shot okay here we go Oh, yeah. This is also a great place to come for the Corrupted Hearts if you want to harvest a crap ton of them. And let's do this. I do have a bunch of them already because, like I said, I've been doing the Orbital Supply Drops recently. So, yeah, we're kind of rolling in those. I've got, like, several hundred. So, yeah, we're uh, we're kind of good. Let me actually grab this stuff anyway, though. Like, it's totally really handy to just hang on to this stuff. Uh, anything else in there? No, not really. Okay. Hello, Rexy. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah, this uh, this gig is pretty good, man. Uh, I don't think we're going to have too many issues in here. Let's just keep going. I know I keep running and running out of stamina. It's fine. <laughs> it's just so much. It's just in my nature to just hold down shift while, you know, moving because it's like, oh, we'll get to there quicker or whatever. And I know it's not a great thing to do on gigas, but I'll never not do that. I'll never learn is what I'm trying to say. Uh, let's kill this dude. Come on. This has a decent amount of... Oh, my God. We just, he just loses all of his skin. Oh, that's so crazy. All right. Let's get up here. Come on. There we go. I definitely think it would have been a good idea to put something, you know, up here. You know, maybe like an element pond or something. I don't even know. Just something. Something up here would have made so much sense. But instead, you're just... I mean, this stuff here is silica, right? It's basically silica pearls. But you can get those elsewhere on the map. Um... I just kind of feel like if they had to put something like a really, really rare resource, and the only thing I can think of is element, to be honest, but something crazy in here would have been a great idea. Because, like, look at this place. Like, you would not want to come in here with anything less than a Giga or Shadow Mane or maybe, a, like, a Wyvern or something. I don't know. Like, this place is ridiculous. Look at this. <laughs> so many freaking items. All right, we got Wyverns on us as well. Come on, buddy. You're going to lose your skin any second now. There we go. He turns to jelly. 
All right, and let's get over here. Definitely a great place to come if you want to start harvesting up some Giga Hearts, but like I said, you can't bring this stuff through the obelisk normally, so kind of sucks. Uh, come on, there we go. So yeah, I gotta say, I'm really happy with this Giga so far, and you know, we're probably gonna try and, you know, get the mutation stack up even higher. So like, this isn't even gonna be the final form. I just, I just need to put out videos occasionally, so. Yeah, I, I can't constantly work on this until I'm happy with it. I mean, I'm pretty happy with it, but I can I know I can do more. I know I can get it further. That's the only thing. But yeah, I do need to put out the videos. And um, I've been pretty happy with everything going on recently. You know, like we've been putting out less videos and I'm happier with the uploads. I feel like I can put more time to like polish them up a little bit. And sometimes, you know, I still don't think it's perfect, but I I'm happier and I feel like you know less stressed as well so i know people miss the daily content but i'm sorry like i'm not i'm not uh i'm, I'm not gonna like ruin my mental health <laughs> just to please the crowd you know and i needed to learn that and i and i have so yeah super happy right now uh let's see anything else useful in there it doesn't seem like it we've already lost like 10k health already we need to try and back out of here pretty soon but um, yeah, I have been working on the next 100 days video. I've been working on some other stuff. That Subnautica video I put out went down really well. So I'm gonna be doing that concept a little bit more with other games. Like the plan wasn't to just do that once. I have like a whole list of games that I wanna do in that exact style. So we're gonna do that a bunch coming up in these next few months. But I do wanna get this next 100 days done before I get those videos out, so yeah what i want to say is i'm working on all these cluster videos i'm working on all that stuff as well lots of things are in the works and i know sometimes it may not feel like they are but they definitely are and i want to get them out asap so yeah need to just work through them anyway uh i think i'm probably gonna try and back out of here pretty soon we got 70 corrupted hearts not bad uh 52 rex arms 11 giga hearts and a bunch of fire talents amazing Guys, if you have enjoyed this video, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. Really does help me out, and I do appreciate it. And, um, yeah, that's it. I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, by the way, by the way, I don't know if, whether or not I want to name this thing Doomsday, but maybe we can come up with another name. Nothing cringy. I don't want to name it Gigabyte, guys. Stop. I know. Stop typing that. You're already typing that. Please stop. That is so cringy. Everybody names it that. It's so bad. Um, we got to come up with something really cool, though. So let me know, and I'll catch you in the next one.